Jason, I want to do an unboxing of some stuff that I picked up from Glossier. The only thing I've ever tried from them was the bomb.com, the coconut bomb.com. So I had to pick up a few items. So I have two boxes here. And I'll open the widest one first. I think it's um, two cloud paints that I ordered. So inside you have the little bubble mailer thing. And you also have... I think a poster with some stickers you can put on your products and then also their um, seasonal winter sticker so actually in this one they packaged it in a box which is really cool like its own individual white box so I'll put that aside for right now. And then the same thing, it has another uh, winter sticker. And then another booklet with a poster. Actually, wait. And they also have a sample of the Priming Moisturizer, so I'm excited to try that out. I didn't pick that up. I just picked up mostly, um, or I only picked up makeup stuff. I didn't pick up any of this in the skincare. So I will be trying that out later on, but I just wanted to pick up all of this stuff so I kind of try it out because I've been wanting to try this brand out for a very long time. And then another mailer with everything in. So this is a skin tint, my, I think my boy brow and, oh no, my halo scope and another cloud paint. And then this one is the phase two set, which was a concealer, the boy brow and a lipstick. And that's the empty box. So I guess I'll open the first couple of cloud paints. So I got three cloud paints and Beam, Dusk, and Puff. I originally got Dusk um, in one order and that's why I ordered these two separate. Um, I saw someone swatch this one and they had a similar skin tone to me and I felt like it didn't show up too well so I decided to pick up two of the brighter ones which were Beam and Puff. So the packaging is really cute. It's um, clear in the front and has white all around and there's also like this mirror in the background which is really nice. The Glossier's packaging is always really really nice and that's what attracted me to the brand. So it had a little silver sticker at the top, so it was sealed. It's actually more liquidy than I thought. Like, it's not moving, like, it's not gonna drip down, but... So that's dusk, and as you can see, it's more of like a beige kind of bronzy color. So that's that one. Next, I'm gonna be doing puff. Put it in the back of my hand right here. I think you have to kind of be careful because a little product goes a long way. Like I had a lot of dusk come out. So I'm gonna put a little bit. So that one is puff. The twin. So these are the three cloud paints. This is dusk, puff, and then beam is the last one. Beam and dusk are a little bit more natural, I guess, because they have more of an orangey peachy tone. So this is more of a coral. And then Dusk seems a little bronzy and like bronze, like a bronzy pink color, which I really like. I really like all the colors. I think I've really picked ones that I'm going to be wearing, which is awesome. Next, I'm going to be swatching Halo Scope. This is what the packaging looks like. It is like a little tube. And this is what it looks like inside. It's honestly a really interesting texture. It's kind of balmy, which I really like. This one has like a very like balmy texture. It's nothing like the ColourPop ones, which are a little moosier and a little softer. This one's very like slick and dewy. It's really nice. And then to like raise the product, you just twist it, which is also really dope. So put that side up for right now. And then the next thing I got that wasn't part of like a kit is my Perfecting Skin Tint and I got the color Medium. I hope this works. So I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit. And I don't know where to swatch this one. Let me put it. So that's a swatch of this perfecting skin tint. Let me like rub it. So I think it's gonna be a pretty good match. I was kind of worried. I thought I would have to get, I think the next one is deep and there goes medium, deep, and then dark. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I got medium for that. And I also got it for the concealer. Um, so I'll go ahead and wipe off these swatches and then I'll start to swatch the phase two set. So in the face two set, you get a concealer, a brow gel, and a lipstick. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch those for you guys. 
I got the boy brow in brown. I wanted to get black, but I think with my colored hair, I like to have um, like warmer brown eyebrows. So the spoolie is like super tiny, which I think is gonna be great for getting like precise application. And the packaging is also super cute. Like all of Glossier's packaging is so awesome. So this is Glossier right there, and then boy brow. There. So that's the boy brow swatch. And next, next is the Generation G Sheer Matte Lipstick, and I have the color Leo. So it's a similar packaging to boy brow. It's a Generation G right there, and then Leo. That's Leo swatch. Lastly, I have the Glossier Stretch Concealer, and I have the color Medium. I'm gonna swatch that as well. And I actually swatched that side by side with the skin tint just for a color comparison between the two. comparison between the skin tint which is the very top one and the stretch concealer which is right here I feel like the stretch concealer has more of a neutral tone whereas the skin tint is a little bit on the yellow side if you could tell um, this one looks a little bit more pink and this one has a yellow tone to it which is interesting um, I don't think I'll mind that too much just because if I'm going to be using this under my eye I do have really bad dark circles so I think the peachy tone will help for that so overall, I'm really happy with the products that I chose and the colors that I picked out. I'm going to be doing a separate video of my application of the cloud paints and another video doing a full face using Glossier's products. So if you want to see those videos, make sure to subscribe. As always, if you like it, wear it, and I'll see you in my next video.